reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto with Doug Sutherland. Hi. What inspired you to get into the business? Uh, my gosh, you start off with some tough ones. Don't you? <laughs> I really don't know. I, I came in, uh, as, as a lot of people do, uh, with a writing background. Uh, always had a fascination with movies and it just very gradually turned out the way it's turned out so far. That's about as precise as I can get. <laughs> did yeah. you start after, you started as a writer and then did you start interning with someone or were there people that mentored you at all? Uh, no, not, not really. It was just a case of, uh, to, to a very large extent, making it up as you go along. And you, you, as far as mentoring is concerned, you learn from everybody you work with. Mm -hmm. And as the cliche goes, if you're smart, you never stop learning. Uh, I've been very fortunate to work with some very fine people. Um, my partner these days is uh, Nicholas Kinsey. Nicholas and I, as you know, have been uh, working together now for, God, nigh on ten years anyway, if not longer. And uh, he's been a great person to work with, as have a lot of other people I've had the pleasure of working with. So you keep your mouth shut, your ears open, and you just keep plowing ahead. What has been the most rewarding part of your career so far? Uh, we've had a couple of little uh, uh, spikes, I guess. We've had a, one of the things Nicholas and I feel very strongly about is getting the movies out in front of people and getting them out in front of people in, uh, in uh, conventional theater environments. And we, we've always made a point of doing that, uh, trying to do that. And as, as you know, it can be a bit of an uphill battle. But it does give everybody involved a chance, including us. You know, you do a, a premiere, or if you want to call it that, and uh, if you're very fortunate, uh, people show up, you get a lot of good, uh, you get good vibes. There's always going to be some criticisms. That's the nature of the business, again, as you know. But you, it, it gives you a little, and, and the people that you work with, because uh, as you know, they all work very, very hard on these things, whether it's in front of the, ca the camera, behind the camera, whatever, and then you get a little spike, you get a little bit of glam for a, for a night or two, and, uh, and after that you just keep going until you uh, hopefully uh, have another evening like that somewhere along the line. <laughs> What's the most challenging aspect about being a filmmaker? Uh, well, there are a lot of them. I think probably the uh, biggest challenge, and this won't come as a surprise to you or to anybody else involved in the, in the film business, the biggest challenge remains raising the money to do the pictures. Uh, we have, I think we're in the middle of kind of a, and have been for some time, uh, middle of kind of a Wild West environment uh, online. I don't think anybody knows how that's going to shake out. Mm -hmm. uh, my own feeling is that uh, the audience has become fragmented to a very large degree. I mean, you, you can still fight your way through and get noticed, but it certainly isn't easy. So those are the, and they're interrelated. Yeah. <laughs> what are your goals for the future? Uh, well, to be fortunate enough to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, short term, uh, Nicholas and I have uh, a couple of things that uh, we have a series called Cottage in America. Uh, we've shot six episodes of that. Uh, and hopefully that'll be coming to a small screen near you. I would hope sometime in the next few years or something like that. We have high hopes for it, but very good. Uh, we've always been fortunate that we've had extremely talented cast members, great people to work with. Uh, and the cottage is about an Albanian family that finds themselves in a great <laughs> Also, just a different advance of the productions. 
this and there are people at different times and we've always been very fortunate. We have uh, a little bit farther down the road, we have a movie called Dead Anyway. Uh, it was originally AKA Stray Dogs, which I corrected and we have, uh, we're hoping to have that out. You know, you just, uh, that's, very, that's not a very, that's uh, not a very far-reaching assessment of where the future is, but you know, in a lot of ways, I go from project to project, and just hope that you that. What advice would you give to someone following in your footsteps? Uh, don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy, it's not an easy business. Uh, if you, as far as advice, I've, uh, people are going to, it's such a compelling business, so people are going to it, no matter what you tell me, as they should. You know, and I find myself every now and then, if I do get somebody who's quite a bit younger than I am, which is more and more of those people every day, uh, I find myself sounding a lot like my dad sometimes. I get something that you can fall back on, because it is an uncertain business, it's a volatile business, as we just talked about. I don't know anyone who's going strong. At the very high, most visible end of the business, that's that's another planet. You know, if you're very fortunate, you very fortunate. It's almost a lottery. You know, there's so many talented people out there, so many bright people out there. People who deserve a shot at whatever it is they want to do. But there's only so many, so many opportunities. So, you know, be aware that uh, it's going to be a very, very Unless you're the type of person who can buy a lottery ticket for $10 million. Be aware that's not going to be able to uh, watch your back. But, you know, it can be very rewarding too. And where's the best place to find more information out about you and on your upcoming projects online? Well, probably the best place would be on the website, which is a cinegraph. things we're involved in, and uh, it's been a busy couple of years for us. Uh, we released, uh, I think we're at three movies released within the last, or released during the process of being released within the last year and a half. And uh, I just cannot keep on. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations on all of your films so far, and best of luck with your upcoming projects. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto.